So what we're going to do here right now is to overhaul this vacuum pump of the alternator of a diesel engine. This pump provides vacuum to the hydrovac or the brake booster of the braking system of a vehicle. This is a Korean surplus alternator with the built-in vacuum pump of the diesel engine. And I will be double checking the internals of this one because uh, the hose uh, the hose was cut with this length only and it goes upwards so there's a possibility that rain water went inside this pump so just to be sure before installing this engine together with this alternator is um, I'm going to tear this down so we have already loosened this it's a little hard to loosen so, so I loosened it already while the pump is still attached to the alternator let's start with the removal of the parts so I'm gonna remove this hose here the vacuum hose there you go also this one here okay and there are three 10 millimeter bolts that we need to remove also this one here as you'll see there's a mark a uh, paint mark this should match that color here because uh, this thing rotated when we loosen this so let's remove the 10 millimeter bolts going to loosen the screw here while this pump is still attached to the alternator so there you go it's now loosened and now to completely remove the bolts here the bolts that attaches this vacuum pump at the back of the alternator and to now lift the vacuum pump as you'll see the return pipe goes down here the lower bracket of the alternator you can pry this slowly prying it upwards to eject the vacuum pump prying it from the mounting tubs so there you go so as you'll see there's a key here for the rotor of the pump to lock it in place and to start the disassembly of this pump so let's remove this taking note of that marker later on during the tightening back of this bolt here the banjo bolt so there you go so this is the o-ring for sealing of this banjo bolt there's a copper washer here at the top of the banjo bolt there and an o-ring here but the groove as you'll see there's a groove so there's only one screw here that attaches the front cover and the back cover of this vacuum pump so let's remove fully this screw here i already loosened this a while ago while the pump is still attached at the back of the alternator so there you go now to open this to lift this back cover of the pump So there you go as you'll see there really is a water contamination so there's the seal rubber seal that goes through this groove here there's a bushing here as you'll see and there's an oil seal here at the back so that the oil uh, the engine oil will not go at the back of the shaft of the alternator or else it will contaminate the back of this alternator the internals of the alternator and going back here you'll see the veins of the pump so we're going to lift this out so these are the veins for the vacuum pump so one of the vacuum pump vein is uh, very worn so you'll see it's not flat anymore and as you'll see there's water there's water contamination but uh, so far there's still no corrosion inside that's the reason why i tore this down and we'll be rebuilding it after a thorough cleaning so it's very simple that's already the complete tear down of this uh, vacuum pump 
course also this one here the banjo bolt for the oil feed with two copper seal washers I'll just clean this so I have now thoroughly cleaned all the components of the vacuum pump as you'll see here all the necessary steps before the final assembly are already finished and I'm now going to assemble it but first I'm going to explain how this thing works so as you'll see here from the housing of this vacuum pump here is the oil feed line the oil pressure of the engine goes here and this is the oil return line as you'll see here when oil pressure goes in this port the oil pressure goes out in this small hole here as you'll see there's a small hole at the center of the housing so what happens is that oil pressure pushes out the veins these are the three veins and as you will see here at the vein housing if we place it in this proper position when fully assembled and if this rotates as you will see the hole aligns to this part uh, as you will see I don't know if you can see from the camera the hole the port for the pressure line aligns to this part of this vein housing so what the oil pressure is doing is that the oil pressure pushes the vein outside of this slot to create a seal in this housing here so every time this rotates and the oil pressure hole aligns with this slot for each slot of the vein it pushes the vein towards this direction here to create a seal to create a vacuum and to throw the excess oil pressure towards this port here and goes down here to the return hose to the oil pan and of course what's happening inside here whenever this thing rotates is that whenever the vein passes through here it creates a vacuum through this port here the vacuum needed for the hydrobac or the what you call the brake booster even though there's oil within this housing here the oil doesn't go to this port here because the this port because what's happening in this port here is it creates a vacuum so the oil will not go out to this port it will not throw the oil towards the direction of the the vacuum port of the hydrobac or the brake booster so it's very simple and this this rotor housing here the vein housing is uh, slotted here so that whenever the alternator rotates this uh, vein housing also rotates so that's all it's very simple so we will start now the assembly you will not assemble the vacuum pump as a whole then you're gonna install it down here I prefer to install it one by one assemble it one by one here at the back of the alternator why because you can fully seat the parts inside if you install this thing first without the cover you will also notice here that in case the oil seal here fails there's a port here for the drain of the oil outside of this alternator so that the oil will not force itself to go inside the internals of the alternator the oil the leaking oil will allow itself to be drained at this port here at this groove here so the first thing to install will be to install this back portion of the vacuum pump install it at the back of the shafting of the armature of the alternator there you go you make sure all the mounting holes for the mounting bolt is fully aligned there you go all of the three are fully aligned and we need just to press and sit it down here fully there you go you just check if the plate the back plate of the vacuum pump is fully seated here at the back of the alternator so there you go it's now fully seated the next thing to install is the key here so we're going to slot the key here there you go and the next thing to install is this one here make sure that the recessed part the recess side is installed going down the other end has no recess 
or else if you install it in the wrong direction it will not this part will not fully seat since this part is elevated so let's install it just keep in mind of the key and the key slot here and let's install it so there you go and the next thing to install is these three veins here but first we need to soak it in oil so just take note of the orientation of this one here you'll notice the smoother side is on the outer edge because it touches the outer the outer side of this housing here the vein slides here the rounded edge should be on this side here and not on the inner side so like this one here you'll see this has a rounded edge as compared to this back side here which is flat so we'll just soak it in engine oil then just slot it here there you go and the last one and next to install this o-ring here at the back of this vacuum pump there's a slot here for the o-ring let's just lube it with oil so we'll now install the o-ring so the o-ring is now installed we'll now install this rear housing cover just make sure that this hole here for the screw aligns to the screw hole here so there you go the assembly is much simpler if you do it step by step rather than assembling it as an assembly than installing the assembly down here at the back of the alternator so i prefer this method i think this is the proper way now to install the 10 millimeter bolts that uh, mounts this vacuum pump here at the rear of the alternator also this one here there's a single screw here and screw it down and to just tighten these screws and We'll just install the banjo bolt here. Temporary install. We'll remove this when you install the oil pressure line. And next to install is this vacuum line here. The fittings, the part where the hoses for the vacuum are installed. There's a recess side here as compared to the other side. The recess side is where this o ring sits. And the banjo bolt goes on this side here. On this side, the copper washer creates the ceiling. This is the copper washer. And on the other side, the o ring creates the ceiling. There you go. Just like that. And to install it here, you just need to align this pink marker here. And there's still a marker here. And you just need to tighten this. So. It's a 24 millimeter socket and to tighten it so there you go it's already finished the vacuum pump here at the back of the alternator is fully cleaned and assembled again so i'll just install this back to the engine so that's all